Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be following a Bob Ross painting tutorial. Now I wouldn't say that I'm a painter at all, like I'm very creative, I like the arts and stuff, but I've never been the type of person to be like a painter, so I'm going to give it my all, I'm going to try my best. Um, I'm usually the type of person that can like copy things more than like coming up with things in my head and putting it on paper, so I think this will be good. One thing before we get started, Bob Ross does use oil paints and you girl does not have oil paints. I have acrylic paints from the dollar store, so that's what we're going to be using today. I already got my uh, painting overalls on. I don't know why, but I just feel like painting equals overall. Come on. Just, I'll just store all my tools in here. So, um, he uses like an angled spatula thing. This is all I could find in my basement. I think it's for like some sort of construction thing on the walls when you like fill in the holes with stuff. I hope it works. I don't know. Like maybe I'll just use it on an angle to make some mountains. Yeah, so let's get into the video. So this is my little easel contraption. Um, I took my tripod and I made this cardboard like holding sort of thing. And this is the half of a paper towel roll, like the tube inside of it. I cut it in half and I connected it right over here. And I have a piece of pipe cleaners holding it down so that when I put on my canvas, it sits perfectly. do first we're gonna cover this in liquid white this is my little palette thingy um it's i keep calling this construction paper no it's cardboard with a hole in it so my thumb can sit in there basically da vinci da vinci yeah yeah it's a painter there's like little crumbs on this what is that okay she's all white so now, what are we doing? Oh, we're doing yellows. Maybe we'll use this. Is this two inches? I don't know if that's the right shade. Oh, I'm scared, I'm scared. I left this much room. I'm actually like terrified. You can see my brush strokes. So I'll do a little bit of brown with the yellow, I think. Yellow okra, like the vegetable. Oh, that's, I made poop, I made poop. Just sort of warms up your whole day. But too much of Red warms up your whole day. Maybe I should make a little, put a little water. Okay, that is a trick, guys. Put a little water. Oh my god, do not put water. I don't know why I did that. It's all coming off. Oh god. Okay. It's fine. And while you're at it, paint your hand. What is phthalo blue? Okay, fill in the top of the sky. My top is already filled because your girl put red all over it, so... Oh god, that's too strong. Oh my god, that looks really scary. I, I'm gonna mess this up. I, 
This is not the right tool. Okay. That's not even a straight line. What? The shadow is supposed to only be on half, but I have it from this side. I'm so stupid. We're gonna have to fix it with a brush. I'm about to throw this painting in the garbage. It's salt. Okay, it's highlighting now. I pray that this works. Halfway through the Bob Ross video, so okay, so there's like three little lumps. Oh, that was a lot nicer. Right here. Okay, pretty good. Texturized painting, but now it is. She's sick. She's sick. Wait, pause. I made this. I took a regular paintbrush and I like pulled out the edges and then I hammered the. I hammered it really hard, so now it's kind of like fan brushy. I really hope this works. If not, it's gonna ruin my painting, but you know. Right here, I think. Why does my tree go upward and his tree go down? Oh god. Mine doesn't look an, like an evergreen tree. This is, this is not good. God, this is not even a tree anymore. It's a blob, I don't understand. We were doing good. And then I decided I'm gonna make this giant blob of a whatever it is. He just drew another tree. No, we're not doing any more trees. The more naked the tree, the better. All right, so my camera has died for the third time now and I ran out of storage, so I did some extra stuff off camera, like blending all this stuff. It doesn't even look anything like what he did, but you know what? You gotta work with what you got. So that's where I'm at with that. He started doing bushes and I feel like the bushes are gonna completely destroy my painting, but you know, we're gonna do it. Okay, bushes. I'm scared.
he changes up the color colors a little, so I'm gonna put a little bit of red. See, it doesn't look like a reflection more than it looks like moss. Not that bad. Okay, cleaned it off a little. He's making like trunk lines now. Sorry, you just, what are you, what is he doing? It's not working. <laughs> He wants me to scrape through the paint, but that's not gonna work. And now my trees look stupid because there's this stupid line in the middle. So you know what it is, my color is too light. It needs to be darker. Black looks better. Bro, he's adding highlight to the trees now. I Okay, I like. That makes it look so much better. How does he make them look like rocks? Like, what? When will my reflection show who I am inside? Oh, 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 he's dragging the white. Oh God, what did I do? It's fine. It's, it's a waterfall. It's fine. You know what? I think I'm done. I think I'm done because if I keep adding to it or keep obsessing over it, I'm going to hate it. So, okay guys, this is my final painting. I like it. Two versions side by side. I think I did a pretty good job. All in all, I think I'm pretty happy with it. And yeah, so if you guys like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel down below, and I will see you guys next week. Bye. Okay, I lied. I totally turned off the camera and then I added a little bit of dimension in the, in the bushes. So now I'm done. Now you can look at it.